get ready. Hello, and welcome to the Ident Review, the show where we have a good look and chat about the various television idents that we have come to know and love over the years. And for this instalment, we'll be continuing our look at the ITV Creates Initiative as we delve into the idents that graced our screens in the month of February 2019. ITV Creates is an initiative launched by the channel in 2019, its aim being that every week a different artist will contribute their own unique individual take on the ITV ident and overall presentation. So as we move into March, let's have a look back as to what February had to offer, with our first artist of the day, Mark Titchener. Welcome to another week here on ITV and we've some good vibrations for you courtesy of our resident artist Mark Titchener taking on the challenge. To find out more search ITV Creates for all the details. Now with all the very latest from around the world it's your Mondays. Good morning Britain. Our favourite money saving expert will be busting the myths on student finance and revealing the hidden costs of going to university. That's the Martin Lewis Money Show, brand new tonight at 8. But now here's Philip and Holly to kickstart your week with a jam packed show on this morning. Which breed of dog will be crowned the nation's favourite? The votes now open at itv.com forward slash vote where you can have your say and all will be revealed in Britain's Top 100 Dogs 2019 live here on ITV tomorrow night at 7.30. Now, loose women. Can a team of five nurses top the Tower of Ten? Warwick Davis is here this afternoon at three with the brand new series of Tenable. But now on ITV, all rise for Judge Rinder. And now on ITV, can a team of five nurses score that perfect 10 and walk away with some big money? Time to join Warwick Davis now for the brand new series of Tenable. Olympic boxing champion Nicola Adams tells Piers and Susanna about preparing for her first full professional world title fight now on ITV. Here's Good Morning Britain. Well, this one almost seemed a little mythical. Serious, when I saw the first variant, it looked like a mass cauldron, but instead of bubbling liquid, seeing all those coloured rock particles come together really gave me that sort of mythic vibe. However, the real cleverness behind Mark's idents, in particular, comes from their formation via the use of vibrations, a very technical method of shaping these small rock-like particles, but seeing it all come together to form the ITV logo at the end is truly quite satisfying to watch. I also like how from aside some variants where we simply see the logo form, we also get a sequence where we partly see Mark in the creative process of bringing his idents to life, and it truly is quite fascinating to watch. I would love it for ITV to release a sort of extended, behind the scenes look at some of the making ofs of these idents for sure. So that was a strong start for February, let's see what the next artist was able to come up with, and that artist is Katrina Russell Adams. Good morning everyone and as a new week dawns we have another fresh look here on ITV with resident artist Katrina Russell Adams taking on the challenge. To find out more search ITV Creates for all the details. Now time to join the gang to kickstart this Monday on Good Morning Britain. Davina's back on ITV with a brand new series of This Time Next Year and she's kicking off with a weight loss special tomorrow night at 8. Now prepare yourself for the ultimate shepherd's pie, proper comfort food and of course last night's Dancing on Ice Gossip with Philip and Holly on Mondays this morning. 
Corey fans love Monday night on ITV because we're in Weatherfield at 7.30 and 8.30. Paul shocks Gemma when he shows his true colours in the first ep tonight. Now after her exit from last night's Dancing on Ice, Sarah Khan is back on the panel with her sisters, the mighty loose women. Five friends from Glasgow are taking on another top ten list challenge with Warwick Davis and New Tenable in an R at three. But first we're off to ITV's court with Judge Rinder. OK, not to knock any creative talent, but these ones come across as a little dull for me. There are many positives to them. They're nice and bright and colourful with lots of moving parts that give across a sense of intricacy. But beyond piecing these things together into the ITV logo, there's not a great deal more to keep viewers hooked on the process of what's going on. I can't quite decide what these pieces are made of. Is it a sort of foam or lightweight material? That's my biggest curiosity with this one. But beyond that, out of the two we've looked at so far, I think I can safely say I prefer Mark Titchener's work. But that's not to knock Katrina, as I'm sure some of you guys watching will love these. Now then, let's move on to our third instalment of ITV Creates for February, with the new artist being Christina Vizi. Well, as a new week dawns here on ITV, we have another fresh look for you with resident artist Christina Vizi taking on the challenge. To find out more, search ITV Creates for all the details. Now, with all the very latest from around the world, it's your Mondays. Good morning, Britain. Brand new weekdays starting today at 2. Take a tasty trip around the UK with James Martin's Great British Adventure. Now on ITV this morning. Join James Martin as he starts his foodie tour of the UK in the Orkney Islands. New series James Martin's Great British Adventure begins at 2 here on ITV. Now after her Dancing on Ice exit, Gemma Collins is here for Loose Women. Peter's got some news tonight and Abby's a bit gutted. Coronation Street's here in half an hour. But first, it's Emma Dale. With lots of tips on saving you some pennies, the Martin Lewis Money Show's coming up in half an hour, right after Coronation Street. Again, these ones don't quite do it for me. Like Katrina's work before, these eye dents are nice and bright, colourful. I love all the different types of pattern work that have been used within creating the look and feel of these sequences. But ultimately, aside from a neat looking chair that I wouldn't mind placing in my home, there's nothing overwhelmingly featured that's going to entice audiences to take much notice. And maybe thinking about it, maybe that wasn't the intention. Sometimes artists want to make a piece of work and not wish to hook audience attention necessarily. If that was the intention here, well, you've succeeded in my opinion. But as I say, some of you may adore these idents by Christina, and the elements it does well, it does really well. So definitely not the worst set of idents I've ever seen, not by a long shot. Now for our final set of idents for the day, let's take a look at the efforts put forward by artist James Alec Hardy. A very good morning from everyone here at ITV, where we've another fresh look for you this week with resident artist James Alex Hardy taking on the challenge. And if you want to find out more, just search ITV Creates for all the details. And it's time to kick off a brand new week with the best way to start your day with the latest news and entertainment. It's time to say good morning, Britain. Can our lovebirds Adam and Karen keep a lid on their new relationship? Find out tonight at nine in the series finale of Cold Feet. Now we're live with This Morning. Chef James Martin continues his great British adventure in Lancashire today at two as he visits a buffalo farm with top local chef Lisa Allen. Time now on ITV for Kerry Katona and Gabrielle to join our loose women. Who is taking on the Tenable Tower today? We'll find out in an hour's time when Warwick Davis is your host. First on ITV, James Martin's culinary road trip leads him to a Lancashire brewery now on his great British adventure. All new questions from Ben Shepherd. He's here in an hour with new tipping point. And you don't have to wait that long for the quiz questions. Here's new Tenable now on ITV. 
When do you buy your travel insurance? Martin Lewis has some tips on his money show in half an hour. First, to Peter's burnt boat is still taking up space on the cobbles of Coronation Street. This must have been one giant safety hazard to put together. Just look at all those wires and extension plugs. Good job they had a huge studio to film it in. But I think this might be my favourite bunch of February. The use of TVs to convey different imagery and colours that all seamlessly blend while showing the ITV logo is a very neat concept design. I especially love the sequences where it goes into a sort of night mode, because then the colours and light that this piece can emanate really gets the emphasis it deserves. And even the small shots of seeing James, presumably it's him, making those final tweaks and putting together his art installation really adds a nice touch. If ITV Creates has done one thing well for the most part so far, it's by showing the creators of these sequences, previously unsung and unshown heroes, who get the chance to create something that potentially will stick in our hearts and minds for a very long time to come. So overall, what did I make of the February bunch of ITV Creates? Well I think overall I slightly prefer what January had to offer across the board, but that still doesn't mean that these are worse in comparison. There are some strong ideas and choices here, and each piece from the four artists this month in one way or another has lots of artistic merit to it. At the end of the day, like with any idents covered on this show, what's been said here is purely my subjective opinion. But it's nice to see that after two months of the initiative, the creativity still seems to be flowing, so I'll be interested to see what March has in store for us in the coming weeks. And so we've come to the end, but before we go, the final words from our broadcaster. That was all this week for this instalment of the I Don't Review. I hope you all enjoyed watching it, and we hope that you tune in next week. We here at the I Don't Review would like to thank you, the dedicated viewer who has stuck by this channel during its extended hiatus. Note that whilst episodes of various shows may not be as frequent as before, new episodes of classic shows and some new shows will be making their way to you in the near future. But until then, have a good week, and we hope that you join us again soon. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.